All right then, so continuing on. Let's just see the conclusion of like, you know, Elvira's tale. And what happens to Luin. Let's start moving towards the next goal. Now I will note by the way there is like, you know, some guys that you can talk to in the pub here. A warrior and like, you know, a merchant here. I won't basically go through like what I was basically saying here. You can like check to, like the other video that's like, you know, put up before this, like, you know, episode 50, 56. After I basically go through like, you know, beating like Elvira basically again, like, you know, um, I basically show off this stuff right here, so whatever. And then there's also an immersion here as well, so I think I'll possibly like, buy this stuff here, so... Let's just go on a buying spree here, because I have the money for it. And let's just see here. I mean, I can give these guys, like, you know, basic stuff, so why not? Take the C feature for you, I guess, at some point. I probably spill all these guys busy up here quite a bit, so that's fine. I forget, how many guys am I taking the next one here? Ten? Ten. So... These ten up here are basically going to join into, like, the, like, you know, the battle here. Like, a great, basically, mock all filled up here. You're basically already filled up with all your stuff, so I can't really give you any more, you know, to do. We're just gonna give this guy, like, you know, aim, or... Yeah, we'll give this guy aim continue. I'll figure out who would basically give us to, you know, along the way, that's fine. We'll just go from there. Alright, well, when I get around to it, I'll have to go and, like, you know, train Shia in, like, you know, um, you know, the arena. But that won't be right now. We'll do that. I'll do it some other time on my, like, own time. So, let's just get to it. I'll show off, like, you know, Gray and, like, you know, Muck here, I guess. Queen Elvira died during the Luxus swooping of her palace. Yeah, I forgot the full screen, so let's just full screen it right now. Alright, so, without Elvira and the Highliner Elders, Luin's warrior class bent its knee and surrendered to Alexis. Alexis observed Lady Shia being elected as a new queen and set out a series of reforms that would open Luan more to the outside. Now, I should probably note something by the way here. Um, I'll note that Shia basically sur survived in my playthrough, but if she doesn't actually survive, then you'll basically like see this like you know cutscene, this like you know Pacific part of the cutscene skipped, because obviously she's not alive to be like you know elected queen and she's not alive, so they just skipped this part. But whatever, you just jump into like the next part here. So soon, Balant started to its aid by building several schools and pouring Luan's arts and goods. All right, so this is also like you know something else that basically like you know um, is worth knowing, but whatever. Meanwhile, Prince Tristan was winning several victories against Imperials with his more aggressive tactics. Him and Prince Altavarum were becoming bitter rivals, exchanging heavy blows to one another. Now, it's worth knowing that Prince Altavarum has already, like, you know, been felled in this late campaign, so... Honestly, this should be, like, you know, say, like, Hilt, who basically should be, like, exchanging blows at this point, because... He's, like, the only other, like, real leader down here, but whatever. Anyhow... With Luan rejoining the Alliance, the balance of power in the region was once again tilting in favor of the Alliance. Alexis turned his gaze toward the free cities, aiming to sever the ties between Tabai and the other city-states. Alright, so Chapter 19. Luan is pacified, Alexis turns his focus into the free cities, and among them, Jehenna, the city of Archmages, and the greatest vassal of Tabai. Alexis again aimed to strike the heart of his enemy. King Alger will lose much of his power and influence in Dubai if Johanna, ruled by his nephew, falls.
Lord! The gates of Johanna is not far from here. Do you feel like some sort of homecoming? Far from it, my lord. I never wish to set my foot on that snake pit again. Strong magic there drives people insane with greed and lust. Or maybe it's the other way around. Anywhere there is power, corruption looms close, eh? We have to be careful with human nature. Everyone, I know you must be tired of all the sands in your boots. But finally we're closing on the magic city itself. Let's be prepared. You know, I wonder if like that, like, you know, cutscene itself, like, you know, only appears if like Reinhardt's basically with like, you know, Lexus and it's like, you know, cutscene because... Um... I don't think that appeared when I was like, you know, briefly jumping into here in, in like the, you know, last video, but whatever. Alright, so... I know this bishop basically has like, you know, a couple of random chests I can like loot and stuff like that. I think there's like a total of three of them. And there's also, as you can see, a lot of like, you know, Dragoons and like other stuff he's around this map as well, but whatever. We don't really care about Dragoons, so let them come. The only bad thing to note is that these are really heavy sands, by the way, so it takes a while to, tra to travel through the sands here. And I bet these guys all have like, you know, Desert Run skills and stuff like that, so... Oh, they don't, so... These guys are gonna be just as slow as I am, I guess. Interesting. Maybe. Well, I know this guy has a longbow, so... They basically have, like, you know, a range advantage on my, like, you know, guys with, like, you know, elven bows. But whatever, that's fine. Alright, so... I probably should equip this guy with, like, you know... The meteor spell, but that's fine. Eh, I don't want to throw this guy too far up, you know, uh, with like, you know, the other stuff around here. This, like, you know, Nomad's like the biggest, like, fresh here to me, so... Put this stuff on you. And I'll try and take this guy obviously out right away. So one big hit. Nice critical. Here goes the con. And yeah, I was like no place to sort of like you know dodge or like you know weave around this one. So go right there, I guess. Oops, I didn't do that right. So he's just gonna stay here for a moment. Well, let's just have Kun's basically run over here and, like, you know, we'll blast this guy to pieces, I guess. Back away. He's still in range, unfortunately, but whatever, it's fine. Um, Town isn't exactly known for, like, you know, his mass resistance, so whatever. Ah, right, you know what? Let's send you right here. You can probably take it if you go right there. I'll send like you right here. The restricted the restricted move is gonna be annoying, but you know. I can deal with it. Go right here. Avoid his, like, you know, spells. Oh, yeah, I got the warp spell. I was gonna show it off a little bit to sort of, like, you know, warp my guys around to, like, you know, hit people if they need to. But we'll basically show it off a little bit later, I think. So go over here. I wonder if it's because, like, Demon's starting on Duna is, like, his move, move space to, like, you know, cut here a little bit, but whatever, let's go right here. Here to come. There's a dodge. You know, I should probably just show off, like, something about these mages, by the way. You guys should see, like, a little bit right there, because, like, you know, 
One guy basically hit Alexis with like the wind spell. Oh, this piece is basically up here would be annoying, so I have to watch out for him, but whatever. But yeah, I'll note that basically up here, um, these bases all have like different spells. So this guy's got like got a dark spell, this guy's got like a light plus spell, this guy's got a wind spell. And if I make, make a go maybe up here, you'll find out this guy's an ice spell. And of course, the Archmage, of course, has a fire plus plus spell. So all the mages basically have different spells in this one, which is you know a little bit different from like you know the other stuff we've been seeing before. All the other guys basically have like long bows and like you know steel weapons, so they're not too threatening, but suffer stats. So I have to watch out for a Dragon Master with like his high stats, but for the most part, everyone else is like you know fairly easy to take out. Pitiful. All right, so. Note that it's this guy over here, by the way. And I can't quite get over to him, so... What we're gonna do... Yeah, I don't know this guy's got a movement of six, so... Alright, so... I'll let this place a spell that like, lets you like you know move your guys around. And it's called Warp. And Warp basically lets you like move your guys to like you know somewhere else on the map. So I could move like you know Ife up to here, for example, with like a cast of my like warp staff. And we're just gonna like you know kill us like FIFA has a chance to do anything. Down he goes. And move over here. So, there we go, we took out, like, you know, that thief before I had a chance to raid the chest. It's probably a sort of waste to go, like, use a warp staff for every reason, but, you know, that's basically how the warp basically works. You can, like, you know, warp your guys around, and rescue basically, like, you know, does the reverse, basically bring them back to you. Let's get you over here. By the way, these thieves are, like, nothing really special. They have, like, you know, access to, like, pickpocket, but, you know... Essentially, they're, like, you know, it's, like, you know, they're nothing. These guys have Eastern Swords. I think that guy up there had a Gradius, but whatever, it's, you know, just whatever. And small round, please. There we go. Okay, let's take out this, like, you know, guy here. They really should have just fall very easily, these guys, right? So, let them fall. Get you up here to attack this guy in the face. There's Gray basically, like, you know, doing his first attack for me. By the way, I want to make sure I have this on the, ma the magic defense cape because if I attack, an, like, you know, a mage with her, I'm not that she doesn't have very good, like, magic resistance, so this basically helps, like, you know, keep her alive a little longer, so boom. Do that. Um, I probably don't want to send Reinhardt just far up because, you know, everything else could like pound him like a little bit there, so whatever. I kinda wish I had a better bow in this guy now, but whatever, it's you know, my bad. The demon kills off this guy. Goes here. I don't know why some of these guys are moving really well and some of these guys are like, you know, moving like nothing, but whatever. Get over here. Let's just go right here to try and attract this guy's attention. We'll do that. You got Book of the Lord! I'll try and snag that, I guess, but you know, whatever. So, Demon gets attacked. He responds back with a nice big strike to his face. Banner gets attacked. He stabs him back. Misses the second strike, but however. 
Oh, there's actually a fourth chest. I thought there was like only three, but there's actually four. Good to know. There we go. You're out of the way. Alright, well, I want to try and grab this over here, so... We do have access to Mug, of course, with like, you know, um... Talon, basically, so... Boom. There we go, we got the Book of the Lord from this guy. Let's go here with him. It's a good time to use up the um, Elven Bow, I guess, so... Let's go like this. Alright, you can go over here to like, you know... Well, actually, let's send you over here to like hit this Dragoon over here. We'll get him out of the picture. Raise, of course, too like slow to get up to this guy, so let's go up this far. Game's apparently too slow. This is where like, the mountain like, you know, feature of like the Dragoons really like benefit them, so it's like, you know... They get to fly around, I don't. Uh, let's send you up right here, I guess. I probably should have moved, like, you know, with the warp staff of him, but whatever. Let's do this. Alright, so, I know basically up here I have, like, you know, Ife basically up here. And I actually have a goal basically for it to, like, sort of do, so... We're just gonna go like this over here, I think. I just want this guy to try and take out the Dragoon over here first before doing things, so that'll be the plan. Oh, the Fee Field up there. Interesting. There we go. Nice big shot from Ifray on this guy. Almost kill off this Dragoon. I thought I was far enough away from that dragoon to not be attacked, but I guess it wasn't. Another strike from Bernard on that guy. There we go, that's what I want to see. Chris can actually, like, you know, deal with like, the guy's lumbos a little bit easier, so... Let's see here. I think the dragoon is like the biggest threat here, so we'll deal with him first. One big hit, two big hits, three big hits. That's all I need. Level for a Kunz right there. And we're just moving right, you know, right up here to like, you know, be right in range of this guy. This guy might try to do something, but I don't really care, so... We'll get Tailmates to start moving up this way to where this guy. There's a book of lore for, like, you know, Quince here to use. I forgot about this, like, these scrolls here, by the way, so... Oh, we're actually gonna kill this guy with, like, you know, Talon, of all things. And he got his coins, why not? Ah, he actually has both aim and continue there. Oh well, that's fine. I'll have to figure out who basically needs aim and continue and let's go from there, I guess. Uh, I could continue on like Roxas here, I guess, so that's fine. Let's get up here with you. You're being annoying, so let's just blast you to bits with this wind spell. There's another love up for. Oh, okay, it wasn't a love for uh, Reinhardt, but whatever. You get up here.
Alright, you're gonna finish off this guy over here, so let's do that for me, please. There we go, level up for Ife. The crappiest level up possible, I guess, but you know, whatever. Well, the crappiest would be like no HP game, but whatever. Alright, so. We just need to get this, like, these chests and, like, the rest of the loot, so that's fine. And he's coming down to hit Kunst again. You know, one of this is the fact that, like, you know, some of these guys can run out a little bit easier because they're, like, you know, just better fit for his environment or something like that. Alright, you're gonna hit this guy finally. So that's my, like, you know, wild archer basically doing his thing, finally. Let's hit you a little bit. Nice strikes right there. Alright, we're gonna go like this, I guess, and we'll, um, give you this. So, Aim's gonna go on, like, you know, Luxus Stairs to sort of help it. By the way, if you actually play without the arena, this is like sort of a way you sort of see, by the way, in your gameplay, like, you know, you'll be, like, running around, like, you know, using your guys like so to, like, you know, um, essentially, like, you know, giving spells and stuff, basically, in the battlefield of all things. Because they don't, like, you know, have anywhere else they can actually do it. I'm tempted to jump on this, like, you know, right here, but, you know, I want to, like, you know, sort of save my loot here a little bit, so, whatever. Go here, view. Go here, here, view. Alright, so... There's actually a cave up here, by the way, and it's going to show off it's basically in here for, like, you know, um, I fear. So, enter. Inside the cave, you stumble upon a small grave with the following inscription. Here lies the tomb, a master swordsman who longed for a defeat, but could not get one. Alright, so, I gets magic evasion, storm attack... Soul attack, and we're just gonna get rid of, um, let's see here, the small shield, I guess. So, I know basically in this cave, you get like three, like, you know, scrolls here, and, you know, pretty awesome basically to like get, but you have to basically have room for it, so that's like you something to wa watch out for, or whatever. I know, but I don't really care about a small shield, that's why I basically like had her basically, like, you know, take a small shield and like, you know, a lance and light armor as damage already, in case I basically needed a room, but whatever. Okay, I don't really care about the mean of shield. That's fine. Alright, let's have you go up to here, I guess. Um, I guess we have to do this first. So, continue. Boom. Okay, so, there we go. Go like this. Okay, whatever. Just get you know, get going. Go up here, I guess. I don't think this feed is gonna bar me, so I'm just gonna like you know use these guys to, like you know puncture them at long range. So, well, if that works as well. Just miss him. Why not? Alright, you got the Book of Lords, so give this to him. I still have room for a couple more chest bases, guys, so... Just keep going up, I guess. You can probably guess what um, Rescue basically does, but it basically allows me to, like, you know, bring this guy basically back over here to, like, you know, do stuff. Alright, I got this key, by the way. 
we're just going to use it to like break this chest so I don't have to worry about it in the future, so... There's a dark spell, you know, nothing really spectacular, but that's fine, you know, be expected. Let's get you here. Then we can go up here. There's the ice spell being used, that's fine. Let's go here, I'll blast you again. Wow, let's keep missing. Okay. Uh, attack him with just a burger shot, nothing special. There we go. You can go right there. It's funny, Malkaz has like, you know, more like, you know, HP and Kunz at this point, but whatever. Let's get you up here, Alexis. And... I guess we'll have, like, you go up here. Almost got, like, you know, Reinhardt level up there a little bit. So, that's nice. There we go, you're dead. Baron finally catches up to the mage and kills him. There we go. Uh, go here. And I'll send you basically up to here to like distract these guys if necessary. And I can just move over here. I still have a chest piece up there to worry about, by the way, so I'll have to basically send, like, you know... Well, I could actually just teleport, like, you know, my guy up there if I want to, but, you know... What I'll probably do is I'll just, like, you know... Court off one of these guys right here and it's like, you know, some guy to run around him. Nice dodge. Can't really court off a Dragoon, but, you know, we can court off the Archmage. Alright, you get to go up this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he doesn't exactly have to, you know, the ability to get there just yet, but you know, he'll get there. Let's get you up this far. This is going to be annoying if I leave him alone, so... Well... You know what? He might be attack like, you know, Banner there, so let's just leave him alone, I guess. We'll get up here with you. Move Gray away, because he actually doesn't have that much, like, you know, match resistance. But I'm not as, like, you know, Baron Art, so I'll move him over here, I guess. And you've got the Soul Attack, Magic Attack, and Storm Attack now. I'll figure out who to basically give that to later on, I guess, but, you know... It's nice to have those spells, I guess. Up oh, goes for Alexis and misses. He goes for Baynard. And it's straight blows and miss, that's fine. I don't like the fact that he went all the way up there, because now like, you know. I'm up here basically doing for that's fine. Get over here of you. Or let's see here. On the bar like she can get there right now, so I'm actually gonna give like you know her the key, I think. We're just going to do it like this. So you get the key. And I'll let, like, you know, Mock basically, like, get the treasure. Because, you know, it doesn't have to be a thief opening his chest, is it? You keep the key, like, you know, use it, like, you know, um, a thief basically do it. But there's a heavy shield. That's something really spectacular, but whatever. It's fine. 
Fascist are going to pieces, I guess. So there it goes. It goes down. Love up for Kuntz. And David gonna just, like, you know, smash this guy in the back, so... There's a big hit to him right there. You know, that's a thought, by the way. I never thought about it, but maybe I could give, like, you know, my mages, like, you know, all these, like, you know, things here. That could be something to do. Alright, let's have Alexis try and kill this guy, because, like, you know... I think Alexis gets more experience from killing Arpings than anything else, so... That'll help him level up a little bit more. Alright, so, 18 felon enemies. We got to lose some stuff. That's really all it was. Um, I'm not basically much like the last, like, you know, before, like, this, like, you know, last stage. We have, like, an hour stage where we don't have anything to visit, so we can't, like, go to, like, any, like, you know, thing out in the middle of the desert, so that's a thing. But whatever. We'll have 12 guys to deploy next time, so I'll be able to make use of all the stuff basically I have access to, but for now, I guess let's take care here. But before I do, let's just, like, go through my guys and let's, like, you know, get them, like, sorted out, I guess. Very nice music, by the way. Alright, Alexis will give... This potion like this, I think, over here. Gray looks fine. Tail has an extra potion from somewhere, so I'll have to deal with that. Let's go like this. We're going to mock him basically give like, you know, the necklace over to right there, I guess. And I can basically take her around his shield to like, you know, how to spare shield basically. I'll ditch the coins. I'm not sure if like the next stage requires you to have a feet, but you know, at least my feet is basically ready to go for the most part. Um Let's go down to like, you know, crows for now, we'll take the large shield from you. Because like David needs to have the large shield to defend himself with. Take off this necklace, we'll pick up a potion. She's ready to go. This is a book, so of some sort. I should probably sell the coins at some point, but whatever, it's there. Who did I give that book to? Oh, it was a necklace I took off, right? So... Well, if Kunz take a necklace, that's fine. But I actually probably need to have more of a bow than anything else, so... Let's go like this. We'll give him basically the boats like to use up like this, I think, so that'll be the plan. Alright, so soul attack, magic evasion, and storm attack. One thing I'll do with these by the way, since I basically have access to them. Why not give them to like you know my dragoon over here, I think, so. We'll go to Denevera basically around here, we'll give her like, you know, Soul Attack, Magic Fation, and like, you know, this right here. Speed Ring and Magic Jewel can go somewhere else, I guess, so... Let's go like this, and we'll go like, you know, this. At some point, we're gonna have to like, go for my, like, you know, my guys here, I'm off to, like, you know, um... Well, I don't really need to have, like, them all, like, basically prepared for battle, but, I mean, we'll have to have, like, them all, like, you know, good equipped and stuff like that, so... Something to watch out for in the future is, like, you know, equip my guys properly. I 
guess I want to send like Briar into the next battle because like you know it seems like he's got some dog events. So cool. that's cool. They say note, but whatever. Let's take the wind spell. Your wind spell right here. I've access to 12 guys, so I guess we'll take like Carlos basically into the next battle. So let's go and give him a necklace. I forgot about Hope, but, you know, he can come as well. Let's go ring for you. Or actually, no, there's a, ne or a necklace, so take the necklace. I'm not really sure what the gold necklaces do, but I assume they basically, like, you know, you reduce, like, critical chance, or do something to your critical chance, so, like, you know, it's basically, like, you know, not hurting you as much, but whatever. I think at this point, everyone's basically got stuff except for Talon, and, like, you know, technically Denera, because basically you can, like, you know, Use those scrolls and stuff. So we'll save right here is Desert Storm. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Just showing off like you know a little bit more of like you know the restructuring of my like you know arms and stuff like that. By the way, just to throw it out there. If you haven't like you know already like known about based on like game factors like this, like you know, partial free like you know game guide you can actually use to, like you know get an idea of what to, what to sort of expect in this game if you want, want to. I'll be using this, like, guide to, like, you know, basically get, like, a basic understanding, and I am, like, writing my own guide if, like, you know, this hasn't been already brought up basically before, I think I already brought it up, like, you know, several times, but whatever. Well, assuming that, like, you know, it's working, because, like, you know, it's game facts, it's not perfect. Unless my internet's down. That could be a thing. Alright, well, enough of this. Basically, like, you know, we'll end it here. Hope you guys basically enjoyed, and take care.